What is this shit? I feel like I've done this game before. Because I have! Hey guys! Welcome to Let's Play Sly Cooper. Um, another one of those LPs that I did back with my iPhone. And I decided... My, my Let's Plays would not be complete without this game. Because, you know, when I Let's Play a game, I play a game that means a lot to me. It was a major part of my childhood. Um, and stuff. Three major things about this game. First off, this is like one of my favorite games in the world. I love, I love Sly Cooper. I'm always in the mood to play this game. If someone asked me to play this game with them, I would, I, I would, I would be like, yes. Come in. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you, loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel slide. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, so, um... I know I never said this game wasn't glitchy. But um I love this game. I really do. I love this game. It's a great game on its own. This was a major part of my childhood. Okay, this is a really nostalgic game for me. I I'm I'm going to make a lot of nostalgic references to this game. Just personal moments playing this game. But besides those two, also I don't want I, I don't break this breaking things for all the coins is optional. I'm not even going to do it. Coins aren't for anything in this one. Um but another major reason I'm playing this game, this is actually the major reason this is nostalgic for me. This is my first PS2 game. Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Also, my headphones are bad and I can only hear my left ear. So I have to like mess with some things to make it work. And it's a pain in the ass and I'm not even mess with it anymore. But um, yeah, this game, this is my first PS2 game. It really got me into the PS2. This is like the only PlayStation system I actually played over the years. Never played PS3 that much. Never even owned the PS1 until like, I would say, not recently, but more recent than most. I'd say I got PS1 a lot later than most people did. But, um, anyways. Yeah, like I was saying. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Um, yeah, this, this really got me into the PS2. PS1, I didn't own it until a lot later. And PS3, I just thought it was a shitty system on its own. I just, I, there was nothing good for it. And PS1 is really... Been, I, I, I'm not a big PS1 fan, that's all. I'm sure a lot of people do like the PS1. But uh, PS1 was a, big of, a bit of a flop. Probably because the N64 was there compared to it. And it just felt low-tech. Like, I expected Nintendo 64's twin brother. But... The most I got was Nintendo 64's retarded cousin named Frederick, Frederick Diggory. Star Wars reference. Star, Star, Harry Potter reference. Mm, you know, because uh, because you guys know Sauron's like my favorite. Uh, Sauron's my favorite 007 character. This password is 937. Didn't even look at the thing, although I could have possibly looked at it. I always knew that was 937 though. It never changes. And I, this game, I got memorized. It's like Banjo Kazooie. Nice job. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Okay, back to what I was saying. <laughs> back to what I was saying. But um, this game is really nostalgic for me, and. Uh, yeah. 
don't want to go out there. So Chico's cutscene. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Oops, strong button. Oh, screw this. I don't know. I... I, I never liked Carmelita as a character, but I, I thought she was important to the story. Always did. She's got boobies. Um, that's a description. She's got boobies. No, but um, this game's really nostalgic for me. And uh, that was the easiest thing. I actually died one time in my old LP, I think. I've died in this level before, I know that much. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Oh, the design in this game. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already Yeah, I don't know. This game has cartoony party. graphics on purpose. And I have to respect that. I haven't seen a game like that in a long time. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. And at long last, I finally get to talk. <laughs> this game is doing all the talking for me. Okay, got 1% through the game. Yeah! So about this game, um, there's various things you can do in this game. Um, going to this pause menu in the bottom right there, you can see what we can do. There's a vault, a key, and a time at every level. A timer. The timer requires one to complete this level at the level at a 
ungodly time. It's very fast. I can't do it. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Yeah, um, the times are ungodly. Like, this level... You need to complete the first level of the game in like two minutes, okay? It's, it's that bad. Or maybe five minutes, I don't know. It's something I can't do, I know I'm not capable of. And I don't really want to put up with it. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, uh, that thing. Also, this is gonna be a short LP. Like, ten episodes short. Because, uh, this is a very, uh, short game. I'm doing it in 20 minute episodes. It took me 25 episodes to my, I remember, I think 25 episodes to do it my last time I LP'd this game. Let's see if we can get it done in under, tw in under 13 episodes. In under 13 episodes. Let's see if we can do it. Because I'm doing longer episodes. I used to do 10 minute episodes. Now I do 20 minute episodes of everything. Because 20 minutes lets me get the LP done faster and move into more games that I want to play. Because I come up with way too many ideas for LPs that I never get around to. Subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Okay, so those signal repeaters are just checkpoints, if you don't know. Breaking alarms, I haven't said it yet, will turn off all the lasers and searchlights and shit they throw at you. They come up with all kinds of things for this game, but. Those are the two you're most familiar with. And then there's also searchlight guards, but they're not part of it. Let's just get rid of these. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> Oh, how did I die in the first level? Ladies and gentlemen, that was me. That was me dying in the first level. I'm good at this game. They should not have put extra lives in this game. It's so easy to die. This game is not generous on lives, but it, if you know what you're doing, it's not a hard game. I will die in this LP. I will admit that, but I will not die to the point of game over as far as I'm concerned. But dying in the first level is not how you get an LP like this on quickly. Also, this game is very flinchy. I don't know why. I just feel like this game is really flinchy with the controls. Everything wants to flinch and move. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. But like I was saying, um, this game is very flinchy. Everything wants to move, and winning is hard, I'll admit. But, um, this is a hard game, but it's not a difficult, it's a hard game, not a difficult game. This is a hard game, I will admit, but if it, it's, it's very, it catches on real easy. Like, at first, this will be a hard game, but eventually you'll get the hang of these controls and shit. And this, this is an easy game after that. All the other games get a health bar, so it's not really that hard. It's if you can complete the missions or not. Which, the other games are focused on missions, this game is focused on, uh, Completing levels. Try not to uh, sound like an idiot here, but you do describing this game. It's so simple, but it's so weird about everything. So basically, that vault he was talking about, um, if you get all these bottles, you'll have the code to get in. Now find out vault and 
Um, seven, seven, three, nine. I'm gonna try it. Seven two nine. Seven nine two. It was close enough. Oh, gangsta! <laughs> I'm so fucking white. No, I don't know this game very well. But um. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. So basically, these things you get are just. They're very useless. You'll never use any of these moves, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe one or two of them, maybe once in the really hard parts in the game. But they're not really that useful. Like, this is the one I just got. That's it. They're, uh, really useless. Also, I just want to make a point. His name is Old Francis Drake. Cooper. Is, is not, is, that is not an Uncharted reference. We make a point, because Uncharted came out years after this. But isn't Francis Drake one of the characters? It is it's either. Oh, there's, there's two Drakes. There's Drake that you play as, and there's Drake, like the guy he's finding the treasure of. Which one's Francis Drake? If there is a Francis Drake. That I feel like, like there was a Francis Drake in that game. I haven't played it in a while. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find it. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Okay, that's simple enough. Let's just do this. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll also, lucky charms. About those, they're not a cereal. Oh shit, I just fell in the water. Well, that just demonstrated what they do. If you get hurt, they go away. Um, I have a white one in my back right now, because... I don't know where I got it at, but a white one means you have one lucky charm. A gold one means you have two, and all the rest will just give you extra lives. And will not go on your back, and not be used. Um, this is a flashlight guard, by the way. Don't get caught by these guys. They will be very dangerous. Their attacks are powerful. And, uh, extra life. There's a couple of windows in here that have extra lives. I'm going to actually go to those real fast, because I do need some extra lives before we start the selfie. Oh. Continue this LP, I guess you could say, because you already started it. We've got two levels done. The two easy levels, but two levels. Is it all of them? No, it's not all of them. I'm saying there's three just sitting out there in the open. Two of them sitting out there in the open. One of them is just kind of a pointless window. What level should I go to now? Um, you know what? In the next episode, I'll decide. I think I'm gonna go up this one first because I just got it opened up for myself. So, uh. See you guys in the next one, where we will go to the se third level of the game, second level of the game, the uh, a level of the game. This level does not have. This game does not have numbered levels. I'll just, I'll just see you guys then.